Okay, this is for politics still. Greetings. Uh, this is an urgent question, so I needed to make uh, this right now because we have a false teacher among us. Paul Tisdale. I hope he joins us. If not, I'll be sharing this video in the description. Now, before I get into this, I want to say at the outset that I love Paul Tisdale. He's been open to Bible study. I wouldn't call him honest, but he's been open to Bible study, and I've been encouraged going back and forth, trying to convince him of the doctrine of Christ concerning acceptable worship music. So that'll be the topic of this video addressing his comments i got his comments pulled up over here on my computer as you can see right there uh and we will address his comments uh in light of the authority of scripture so, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. But uh, here is his post. I am a member of Christ Church. Well, if, if you offer vain worship with instruments, you're not. See, Christ Church believes the words of the Bible breathed up by God that we're supposed to sing, teach, and admonish. If Colossians 3, 17, if you don't do that, you're not of Christ. Church of Christ. See how that works there? You're not of Christ. So I'm a member of Christ's church, you're not. I teach salvation like you do. You do. And, and maybe. I take communion when and how you do. Okay. I believe Christ is the head foundation of the church like you do. Yes. Excellent. I believe Christ is the only mediator like you do. Yes, I do not accept any denominational name. I don't either, but you do accept denominational teaching because that's what you have been fed and what you continue to feed others. Um, I am uh, a Christian only. Well, Christians follow the Bible and believe Jesus uh, and just here's what Christians do. When the Bible says uh, According to our topic, when the Bible says sing, teach, admonish, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sing, teach, admonish. Uh, hold on, Christian. Hey, Uncle Kenny. So if the Bible says sing, teach, admonish, I'm gonna. Sing, teach, and manage. If you think this is the good stuff, uh, share it. Uh, sh share this message. I want it getting out, out there. But all 
Charles is sad back to his comment. I have been informed that because I don't believe in that is whether I should sing praises to our God in Christ or if I sing with or without instruments. It's not a matter of belief. It's a matter of doing what God has said. God told you, Paul Tisdale, to sing, teach, and admonish. Then I should be kicked out and blocked from this group. Yeah, uh, because what you're teaching is not of Christ. Now, if you repent of that, and you start teaching what the Bible says on this matter, which we'll get into uh, when we get further in your comments. Uh, so, well, let me keep reading here. Uh, uh, I am sad in that many of us have become like Pharisees and have made a cappella singing in the new circumcision. Um, where have we said that? Um, singing is just what God commanded. God commanded circumcision in the Old Testament. That's what they were to do when the child was eight days older, uh, I mean, singing is binding because it's in the law of Christ, and, and we're, and we're going to cover that, uh, later on in this video. Uh, so, may, may God have mercy on us all. So, let me go to... Your comments here. Well, let's uh, dive in. Paul Tisdale. Okay. Let me find it here. Sorry. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, it's down a ways. See, I'm on my computer, my Chromebook, and I had to copy and paste this off of Google, so give me a second here. Okay, so let's start with this one. Uh, I say, uh, Paul says, uh, I said to Paul, we don't have authority for it in the Greek anyway. Please stop using the same excuses because he believes it's in the Greek. And what the Greek says, let me pull up Blue Letter Bible. Uh and let's look at that objection together. Blue Letter Bible. Blue, Blue Letter Bible is a free Bible app that anyone, a free online resource. Anyone can get to it. And 
in the Bible app if I go to Ephesians 5.19 I can look at the Greek the God breathed Greek the and see what the Greek says because the Greek is what Paul would reject. He would deny that he does, but he does. Um, and let me, before I do this again, say I'm doing this for Paul because I love him and want him to go to heaven. And he can't go to heaven by, by uh, disobeying God's commands to uh, use, by, by offering God's vain worship. Uh, so, Ephesians 5.19, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, Singing, making melody in your heart to the Lord. So I can go on my thing here, on my computer, and what this Bible app does is I can look up the Greek for making melody, and it is the word salad. And now what's the, and the word solo means to strengthen or touch the surface, okay? To pluck, to pull off, uh, to cause to vibrate, to touch, to twang. Let me see if I can... Well, let's see if I can get this to show up here. Uh, to play a stringed instrument, to sing to music on the harp, uh, and in the new tea, sing a hymn. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, let me... Give me a thumbs up if you can see that Greek so uh, but anyway so it, it does say to touch or the twang in that passage. So it looks like a instrument is authorized in the passage in me and Paul Tisdale would agree that the instrument, a instrument is uh, authorized in that passage because you all saw it on the video here. The Greek word is a pluck, the, the uh, twitch, the twang. But it doesn't just say sing and make melody. It says speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Now, so I would contend that the instrument in Ephesians 5.19 is what's beating right here, your heart. You sing and music comes from the heart. Now, now Paul would say, okay, that means you can't sing because it's in the heart. You're singing in the heart. Well, two things. This definition that I have pulled up here it says, uh, let us see it is sing to the music of a heart. 
So singing is singing is a, alongside that word of making melodies. So you're singing next to the instrument. The, the if the passage just said sing and make melody. Then yes, it says to pluck to pull off. That would be your authority for a man-made instrument, definitely. But it says what we are to play. What what are we to twitch? What are we to twang? What are we to cause to vibrate? And that thing is called our heart. And so we, I think we covered that efficiently, uh, sufficiently. Let me go back to his comments. So he says, Paul says, the Greek is very plain. You don't like what it says, so you, so you just deny it. No, I don't deny the God-given Greek. I just showed on camera what the Greek said. And the object that's being played is the heart. Again, if it said sing and make melody, that would be an instrument. Right? Because the Greek would allow for it. The god Greek. Greek, but it has the device in which we are to make melody. So, um, so let me So then he continues, the Greek does not say pluck the heart strings. Yes, it does. Uh, we just showed that sentence structure in the Greek. It, it, it's literally in the god Greek. Uh, you, you can't deny that, Paul Tisdale. Uh, Paul, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm at a loss here. It's literally in the Holy Spirit read Greek. Block the strings. Dig deeper. Take off your denominational glasses. And t take off your denominational glasses and just look at the God be Greek. Oh, uh, so, so, okay. Let's see what. Let me scroll up here. So, let's see, sorry, so I think we covered it sufficiently, um, so, yeah, and, and, oh, I wanted to cover one more thing, Paul Tisdale, this false teacher, is all about liberty, and yes, we are under the law, Law, we can't do do whatever we want. The the law of liberty, uh, and, and so, what what do we have liberty to do? Ephesians five nineteen sing, teach, or it's like sing and make melody in your heart. Well, that gives us tons of liberty. What about singing in groups, singing in pairs, or quartet, eh? You, you know, there, there's, 
Well, well, not not a quartet. Sorry. Uh, we we can sing in pairs, sing along, sing as the church. We come together to sing to each other. So yes, what type of song should we sing? Can we sing a hymn? Can can we sing a a psalm? Can we sing straight up scripture? Yeah. So Paul Tisdale is all about liberty, and so am I. And God is very gracious, and He uh, t t tells tells me to sing and make melody in my heart, and I can do that what whatever way as long as I'm singing and not adding a instrument. Let me see if this comment is um let me see if this new comment can be read out loud. Okay, so I'm going to read this one. Paul Tisdale just sent me this. Will you now repent? No. Uh, you... I have nothing to repent of. I offer God acceptable worship music. You offer liberty on... on in the things you... You rise, you fly back, no instrument rule. Not my rule, God breathed out the Bible, not me. Um, it's in the God breathed Greek, you're, you're stuck here. Uh, to the detriment of the gospel of Christ, has nothing to do with the gospel, has everything to do in how we worship God. Worship is, uh, worship is to be in spirit and in truth. In fact, let's take, let's read that passage. John, John chapter 4. John chapter 4. This is the instance where, uh, Jesus is with the woman at the well, and he says this, John 4, 24. Uh, they're talking about where we should worship. The Jews go to the, uh, the Jews go to the temple. We worship here at this mountain at, uh, at, in Samaria, and then Jesus says, uh, verse 24, God is spirit, or verse 23, but the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must, must, this is a command, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? So, uh, so, uh, I, I have nothing to, I worship God in the avenue, in the way God has said he's going to be worshipped. I don't add to or take away like you do, Paul. I'm calling you out on it. You, you say, I know God says saying, but the Greek somehow, even though it doesn't, and, and we've shown that, we... We've proven that. That's been evidence. The Greek somehow gives me license to worship God the 
Where I want to, I want to add the instrument in. No, you have no authority. So, you offer liberty on the things you have no defense. Well, you will have to, uh, I offer liberty in singing. Do we sing high? Do we sing low? Pairs? Sing? Uh, Paul, I'm at a loss here. Uh, but you will, but you will, uh, let's see, I'm reading sideways. Right, do you fly back? No instrument will, to the, to the detriment of the gospel of Christ into the body. Well, that's what you have done. Uh, that, again, I did not make this up, Paul. Actually, you made up the instrument by playing with the Greek. I just repeat the authority of Scripture. I didn't make it up. It's God who decided they were, he wanted to be... He is God, and he decided he wants to be worshipped in the avenue, in the way, that is singing. No instruments. Come on, man. Into a division of his body. Nope. The, the gospel of Christ does actually... The gospel of Christ is his death, burial, and resurrection. The doctrine of Christ is everything else. So, the gospel, you're right, singing isn't in the gospel. Neither is repenting, neither is baptism. Well, baptism is part of it. Neither is... Uh, the Trinity, the Gospel is just the death, burial, and resurrection. We're dealing, we're not dealing with the Gospel. We agree on that. We're, we're dealing with the doctrine, the teaching of Christ, Second John 1, 9. And it does not uh, divide the body. Uh, yeah. Christians, you know what, let's do these two passages while we're on here. Christians are not divided. People in the denominations are. Turn over to 1 Corinthians 1.10. 1 Corinthians 1.10. This is Paul talking about the talking to the Corinthians, a divided church, divided over multiple things, leaders, and uh, he says, "I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the authority of what I, what I'm about to say." Is, uh, it is by the authority of Christ, guys. Listen up. By the authority in the name of that you all agree that there'll be no divisions among you, that you may be, uh, United in the same mind, in the same judgment. I want you all to agree. No denominations. No divisions. Verse 11, for it has been reported to me by Claude's people that there is quarreling among you, my brothers. What I mean is each one of you says, I follow Paul, or I follow the Paul is uh, I follow Cephas, or I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? 
was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius. In other words, guys, he, he's saying, Paul's saying to the Corinthians that, that the Christians are supposed to be united. So, no, I, I don't cause division. You cause division by dividing from the divine order. And in John 17, uh, let's see, I'll go 20, uh, I don't have that one hidden away yet. Uh, John 17, in John 17, it's the Lord praying for unity. And in his prayer for unity, Uh, John 17, 20 to 23. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who will believe in me through the word, that they all, that they may all be one, just as ye, just as you, Father, are, I mean, I knew that they also may be in us, so the Lord, so that the world may believe that you, you sent me. Verse 20, to the glory that you have given me, I have given them, that they may be one, just even as we are one. Uh, I am them and you and me that they may become perfectly one so that the world may know that you sent me and love them just as you love me. Paul, Paul Tisdale, Jesus is praying for you and I to be united. And, and as a result, if we're not united. Jesus says in verse 21, if we're not united, Paul, the world doesn't even know that God sent Jesus. That's how serious this is. Yes. Uh, so the Bible says, sing teaching in my Colossians 3, 16, uh, I say sing, teach, and admonish, where are you? Oh, you're at liberty, 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 liberty. I can change God's commands. I can add to Greek. No, you should be saying sing, teach, and admonish with me. Okay. So please go read... Galatians again, for what? Uh, pray to understand what is written uh, without regard to your pet doctrine. Uh, I have no doctrine, uh, the doctrine of Christ. Now, in regards to Galatians 3, uh, in regards to Galatians 3, the evidence is that, that you say we can kind of use the Old Testament principles. Yes, there's principles we can learn from, but we can somehow transfer that into doctrine. And that's what Galatians 3 condemns. Actually, well, let's go ahead and read Galatians 3. Uh, I, I know this is getting to be a long video, but, but I need to be thorough. I need to be thorough. Okay. 
Okay, so... So let's look at this. Ten. So, so primarily Galatians was written for the purpose of correcting the Jew, Jewish Christians who were still holding on to circumcision. Like you claim I am. Uh, and you, you don't even know the definition of circumcision. This doesn't even compute to that. But at any rate. So, let's read verse 10. For all who rely on works law are under a curse. Now, this is written to Christians that were dealing with Judaizer teachers trying to come in and destroy the flock. Uh, and it's talking about the law of Moses. Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all the things written in the book of law and do them. Have you, Paul, have you ever, uh, have you ever talked back to your parents? I know I have. Why are you alive? Under the old law, they would be stoned. Question to think about it if you're going to, Take parts of the law, and, and you you're gonna justify this, but uh, you can't. That's what what you doing? Just taking parts of the law. Uh, but let me go a little bit further. Galatians, Galatians three ten. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, the law of Moses. For the righteous should be live by faith. Yes, faith in whatever the law of Christ says. We are not under the law, the law of Moses, but we're under, we are under law. We're not... We're not just under grace, and we can do whatever we want, like like you claim with this whole liberty fantasy, basically. It's a fantasy. We are under the law of Christ. Um, Christ redeemed us, verse 13, from the curse law by becoming the Curse for us. Curse is everyone who hangs out in a tree. Well, if Christ redeemed us from a curse law, why would well, why would you want to go back under and justify yourself? You, you bringing yourself back under that curse. Uh, I mean, Paul, that doesn't even makes sense. Don't justify. Don't don't mix. Now there are principles like God's love. But laws and yes, and instrumental music were laws. They were commands. See see second Chronicles twenty nine. Nope, you can't bring them over. They're not in principle, they're in command. So, so, and, and for these Christians, for the Christians watching, go to Galatians 1. Now, this is a very negative letter. Uh, this is a very negative letter written to uh, Christians. Be because of the uh, Judaizer teachers trying to come in, and the first, one of the first things he says as he's introducing uh, this book is, look at verse six. 
I'm astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and turning to a different gospel. Now there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. Now who would want to do that? False teachers like Paul will, who will add instrumental music. That's who. Church, you gotta be aware. You gotta be aware. Uh, false teachers are common. We could look at more passages. First uh, Peter 2 talks about how these False teachers are coming. Paul Tisdale is one of them. I'm warning you, Christians. Be armed. Be, be arm yourself. And, and look how he concludes. Verse 8, Galatians 1 8. But even if we, or an angel from heaven, preach to you a gospel, Contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. If the Bible says sing, teach, admonish, and Paul says, oh, we can use liberty to override that and add instruments, let him be accursed. That's not the gospel of Christ. That, that's... That's not what you receive, Christian. Stand on that. As we said before, now I say again. If anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, let him be accursed. Don't don't fall for their deceitful schemes like. Paul Tisdale, he, he's very active, church. Resist him. Resist people like him that will tell you that, oh, worship doesn't matter, and I can worship God the way I want to know. God has never left worship up to us. Never. He is never in the Old Testament. He never has and never will. We use our liberty in the confines of what the text says. If the text says sing, we use our liberty to sing and, and play. No, we sing, we sing high, sing low. Sing in parts. We, we were authorized to sing alone. James 5, if anyone is cheerful, let him sing. So, you, you know, Paul, there's ten verses that, that talk about singing. None of them. I mean, none. Mentions instruments of music. Doesn't that tell you something? I would think there would be one specific passage that would say, yes, you can sing and, and uh, you, you can sing and use a heart, but not one. Paul, come on, man. Just repent. Believe, I, I mean, I can keep going, but at this point, I think you've been sufficiently rebuked. I'm scared for you, Paul. You, you won't heed correction. I've given you all the uh, authority, but you... Uh, I've given you all the evidence, but all you need to do is you look and pass it in your denominational goggles. You say you're a Christian, 
But Christians are those who, uh, the, those who, uh, those who believe the words of the Bible and don't add to it. Christians go to the Church of Christ, which you reject. You reject Jesus' pre-denominational before religious division. And, and it's funny that you say you're simply a Christian, but in one of your comments, you reject the Church of Christ. How about that? So you need to become a Christian, Paul. And when you're ready, I can make that happen. You can go down into the water and be immersed for the forgiveness of your sins and become a Christian. Not anything divisive, not anything that divides. I love you, man. I really do. I wouldn't be making this video on a Monday night if I didn't. If you have questions, I'm here to study. Thanks, man.